Hey guys, this is GJ Plays Now, and today we are back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about the role management add-on to my Minecraft Discord hook bot. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and make sure you have already followed the previous tutorial, video, showcase, whatever you want to call it, last time. Link down in the description for that. But then after you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the Spigot page for the Discord Minecraft Hook Role Management add-on, and that is also down in the description, but you're going to want to go ahead and click Download Now, and keep. Alright, so now we have that, we can look over basically everything with that, so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is add this to your plugins folder. All you have to do is add it right there, and just... Discord bot API, Minecraft hook add-on, and Minecraft hook, all in the same folder. Go ahead and start your server up. Make sure that your server was stopped when you added the plugin in, otherwise nothing would happen. But start your server up and everything should load perfectly fine. While the server is starting, we are going to go ahead and add a couple new roles to the server. So, server settings, roles, and let's just add three roles. So first one, VIP. Let's go ahead and make it a nice green, up above verified, because verified is the baby role. We can just leave verified where it is. We're going to add those two perms to VIP. We also want experiment, and then test. Alright, all of these three roles are all going to have the same exact feature stuff. And save changes to all of those. As we learned last time, make sure Discord Minecraft hook bot is above that, or whatever you named your bot. Make sure his role is way above all of the other roles that you want to be adding to a player with the role management plugin. So now the server is hopefully started. It is. So what we can go ahead and do is type in slash mch space add role and then a Minecraft username. TJ plays now for this instance, and say we want to give him the test role. You don't have to have it cap specific, you can do this, and it will queue the role test for TJ Plays Now. That means as soon as I log into the server, it will go ahead and give me the role in Discord. So as I go ahead and log into the server, you will see in just a second that my role will go from verified to test. I'll still have, I'll actually, mm, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have test, do I not? I don't have it. Did I not spell my name right? I might not have spelled my name right. Oh, I think I know what it is. So, because the way that we did something last time. Alright, so we're going to go into this folder real quick. We're going to go into plugins, uh, Minecraft hook, and we're going to go to users. This says users awaiting confirmation. We never confirmed ourselves, which is weird because we did, but we didn't. So I'm going to type verify within what we were supposed to verify with. And it will say we verified properly and everything should look fine. We didn't get the verify role, but that's okay. So we are going to go ahead and leave the server and rejoin. Everything should work now. We weren't technically, you know, what the problem was. But now we have the test Role. Now what we can also do is m mch space add role vip. Um, I forgot <laughs> my own name. Oh, uh, that's that's one that you have to have. You have to have TJ plays now vip. Now we're green with vip. Now we can go ahead and remove role by typing in slash mch remove role TJ plays now vip, and now we're back to test and you can do whatever you want with this. Say, when I'm not logged in, let me disconnect and show you guys MCH add role and VIP. All right, type that in. It will queue the role. We go back to Discord and we watch as my role will change from test to VIP when I log in. That, you have to be logged into the server when it happens. That's why that happens, but it even saves users that haven't done it prior to um, not even having a Discord account synced, it will also go ahead and do that, say if the server turns off and there's still users waiting to be synced, it saves that all in a config file when the server stops and starts, it loads it, and it's really, really nice and lightweight, so, 
all you have to do is type in once again slash mch space add role well actually remove role in our case because we already have vip remove role a username vip and now we no longer have vip now the other one was um what was our other one server settings Experiment. Experiment was the last rule. Let's go ahead and check experiment and make sure it works. Experiment rule was added, and it does not look like it worked. Oh, because I know why it didn't work. I was trying to remove the rule. What we need to do is add rule, and now we have experiment rule, just like that. It's very, very nice, very lightweight, and I hope that explains everything to, to you guys, and yeah. Boom, magic. Alright, I hope you guys had an amazing time watching this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.